this video, I'm going to share the complete steps on how exactly ETC solar water heater is going to be installed. How exactly are these tubes connected because these are the tubes which is going to heat the water and send it to this unit. What is the price of it, where you can get the best price and what is the installation cost and also how exactly this entire setup works. I'm going to share each and every detail. So welcome to A to Z construction channel. I'm Shriram Benur. Let's get started. Now let's see the installation of Vega 200 liter ETC solar water heater. So this is the stand that is going to come along with the product and uh, all they need to do is just fix it with the help of nuts and bolts. When I purchased this product, the price of it was roughly about uh, 23,000. So again, I'm going to give the link of best uh, solar water heater links in the video description. Certainly you can just click on them and purchase as well. So this is the water tank which is going to store the hot water. Right now what they are doing is they are just uh, fixing all this uh, stand with the help of nut and bolt. Now once this is fixed they are going to place the tank over it and connect the tubes as well. So this is how it looks. So now they are going to place this uh, tank on top of the stand and uh, they are going to fix it with the help of uh, nut and bolt that has been provided. So they are just going to fix it right now and they are going to make sure that the alignment is proper so that the tubes can fix in well. So right now uh, for fixing the tube they are just going to gently push inside and also push the washers as well. And this is how it is going to sit at the bottom. Now in the same way they are going to connect all the tubes. Once the complete setup has been done this is how exactly it looks. So the complete setup has been done right now. Now let me also tell you how exactly the uh, water pipe connection has been made. So that's the overhead tank from where the water is going to come and it is going to come from this uh, pipe which is running down we have also put a valve here so that like when uh, needed it can be turned on or off but make sure this is always turned on um, uh, and the pipe is just going to run like this it is going towards the tank so from here uh, it's actually going to the other side of it so let me show you where exactly it is connected now this is going to be connected at the bottom of the tank because usually the cold water is going to be connected at the bottom and this is the one way valve as well. So only water is going to enter inside and it is not going to come reverse. So this is a 200 liter uh, solar ETC water heater. Now one important thing that you need to remember is that you should turn on the cold water uh, valve only before 5 or 5.30 am in the morning. Because if you turn it on during the daytime, the tubes would be already hot and it can damage the tubes as well. So please remember, you got to turn on the uh, inlet water only in the early morning, preferred before 5 a.m. or maximum 5.30 a.m. Now let me also show you the outlet valve here. So this is where the hot water is going to come. Now uh, this also has a valve so that if you want to turn that off, you can turn it off as well. Now this is also connected to a air vent pipe so you could see uh, it's pretty uh, at a higher point as well now this should be uh, higher than your overhead water tank height as well so make sure uh, this is being considered we have also fixed a, a steel pipe here so that during heavy winds this pipe does not uh, shake or uh, because of it it might end up breaking as well so this is the complete uh, setup of the ETC solar water heater. I have given the best 2023 uh, solar water heater product links in the video description. Certainly you can just click on that and purchase as well. So let me explain the components of this and then I'm going to explain the working. So this is a 20 liter uh, water tank. Okay. And then we have this uh, evacuated tube collectors. This is the frame on which the entire setup has been uh, mounted. Okay. So this entire setup has around uh, 16 tubes that are there. Now coming to tubes. So if you see, this is a two layer tube. Okay. So there is a one layer at the top, a glass layer and inside that there is a dark layer which is going to absorb the maximum heat and it is going to heat the water. Now in between that, there is a space or a gap, right? That is completely vacuum. I'm sure you can see it, right? So there is a gap. Okay. This layer is completely vacuum. And in both the ends, if you remove this pipe, both the ends are completely covered. So only gap is there for this tube, but the first and the second layer are completely covered. Same is on the other side as well. Okay. So if you see here, we have some components here. So let me explain what exactly is this. 
you see the silver thing that is there now say for example over a period of time if there is going to be some air that is going to be collected inside this vacuum this component is going to make sure it is going to absorb that with the help of a chemical reaction or something like that and again it is going to be uh, completely vacuum uh, one right so that's how it is always going to make sure there is complete vacuum inside this two tubes okay so that's how exactly that has been done on the other side as well it's completely closed so you can see this is how it has been uh, fixed and it's actually easy to remove and uh, replace as well if some damage happens to one of the tube uh, it can be just removed uh, after emptying the tank okay and the cost of this tube is roughly around 400 to 500 rupees or something like that or if you want to replace it you can replace it manually as well by yourself why because it has been just connected with a simple mechanism where this tubes are just inserted inside and there is a washer that is going to run inside this uh, tank right and the moment you push it so there is no difficult mechanism it just uh, pulling it outside and pushing it inside to fix it and they have also put some washers here okay so that's how this tubes have been done now coming to the working of it how exactly this solar heater works and is it really efficient okay so let me explain everything so that you get a complete clarity it says inlet for cold water now here is one most important thing that you need to consider okay so this is one way wall that is connected to the inlet now what exactly this does so this makes sure water is only going inside and never the water is going to come out of the tank now once the water inside enters inside this so it is going to move through these tubes okay and it is going to fill these tubes and uh, when there is the sunlight it is going to heat the water as the water gets heated okay the hot water hot water moves up and the cold water starts coming uh, down why because as the density of the hot water will be less it just tries to move inside back up okay once it goes up again it tries to move to the top of it that's how there is going to be a complete water circulation that is going to happen inside this so when this happens for a couple of hours in the uh, sunlight suddenly you are going to have a very hot water and uh, one thing to consider is see usually water gets heated in the daytime and we usually use it in the early morning right so that means usually on the next day so what has been done here is there is a thick layer of insulation that has been here okay which is surrounding the complete tank something like this which is a insulation okay and this insulation which runs the com in the complete tank it is going to make sure the heat is not lost during the entire uh, day or whenever we are going to use so even if you are using in the next day probably there might be a drop of only around 2 to 4 degrees centigrade right so it still makes sure that the insulation which is inside this uh, tank it is going to make sure the water is still hot without much loss that is going to happen in the uh, entire day so that's the beauty of it and these tubes these tubes run inside the insulation and go into the tank that's how exactly it makes sure the water is going to be pushed inside as well okay now this is how the complete process works so as i said again so the cold water that is there okay uh, the moment water gets heated up it just moves up like this once it moves up it comes to the top so now let's move on the other side so here we have outlet hot water uh, outlet okay now as i mentioned since hot water is going to have less density it is always going to rise up right so it is going to rise up so and when uh, we turn on the tap uh, at the uh, while we are using maybe for shower or something the hot water from that uh, top layer is going to come inside from this pipe and it is going to be circulated to the uh, uh, bathrooms which has been connected that's how it uh, works now also we have a valve here that has been fixed say that uh, if you want to turn off the supply uh, then we can certainly do that and same has been done for all the co also the cold water so one more thing to understand here there is also one more uh, uh, section here it says a uh, connecting diagram for backup now say for example in winters uh, where there is no proper sunlight or during rainy season where you don't see a uh, good amount of uh, sunshine in that case water is not going to be heated uh, much in this uh, tank because there is no much of uh, solar energy right so in that case you can also fix a heater 
so there are going to be a specific heaters that are going to come uh, for uh, uh, this uh, tanks so suddenly it can be fitted and it can be connected to the power supply and it can help you to make sure the water is getting heated inside the section and you can certainly uh, take that as a hot water for uh, your purpose now let me explain the advantage and disadvantage of uh, having this uh, section see say for example as i said in winters or in rainy season where you don't have proper sunlight certainly you can uh, put a coil here and this is uh, optional it does not uh, come pre-fitted if you want you can certainly uh, talk to you the dealers or uh, people who are going to set it up they can certainly fix this now once this has been fixed see understand this is a 200 capacity a uh, water tank uh, right and uh, you might be going for uh, 200 liters or 150 liters that means when you insert this coil this coil needs to heat this entire 200 liters or 150 liters whatever the tank capacity is going to be that means it is going to consume lot of energy now instead of that if you are having say for example only couple of people in your home in that case you can have a separate uh, electric water heater in your room it is going to consume less energy and certainly you are going to get a really hot water from that as well so as per lot of research and understanding from expert this is not a good advice to uh, set this up but of course you have an option for that as well now coming to the price of this so this costed me around uh, 23 uh, around 23000 okay so i got it from vigard now certainly there are a lot of uh, other brands as well vigard is good supreme is good and i've also given the link of some of the best solar water heaters in the description you can certainly buy it from there okay now coming to the maintenance of it so one advantage with uh, the etc model or the evacuated tube model is if any damage happens to any of the tube right you just have to replace the single tube and it's going to cost anywhere around uh, say for example around uh, 500 to 800 or 1000 to replace along with the service charge where a person is going to come and replace this so that's the advantage with this now if you go with the uh, the older uh, solar water heaters which used to come something which had a, a panel like this where water used to run inside right so those kind of panels uh, the copper tubing whatever they would have done inside it might collect the residues of uh, salt or uh, things like that right and it requires regular maintenance this does not have so much of maintenance to be done okay and certainly it can come for a long term as well and the best time to clean this uh, tubes is before sunrise or after 7 pm so that uh, when we are using uh, maybe a little bit of water or wet cloth it suddenly does not change the temperature of the tubes uh, which might affect their uh, proper working i believe this information was helpful for you to understand in detail if you like this video give a thumbs up if not give a thumbs down if this video was informative then please do consider subscribing so that you don't miss any informative videos you can also click on the end screen to watch a video on how exactly solar electric uh, lighting setup has also been done and also you can watch the video on how exactly the ac installation has also done Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye for now.